Hello, this is Ron back with another uh, video on our favorite new uh, quadcopter, the, uh, the Mavic Air 2. Um, in this video, I will focus on the uh, photos. Um, the thing takes four different types of photos. It takes, you know, your regular single JPEG. It takes, um, I'm going kind of down in order here, it takes a, a 48 uh, megapixel um, photo. It takes a smart photo, and then it takes like a, a bracketed uh, photo uh, you, know, you can expose uh, bracket three or five uh, different exposures so you can uh, combine them but um, and also it has a setting where you could take JPEGs and DNG uh, kind of raw files so um, what I did in this video is I took um, I selected DNG and, uh, 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 JPEGs and DNGs and I took all um, smart photos so um, I'm gonna have one photo that's the smart photo, and, and that's the, you know, the, the it, it makes a JPEG. And then the other photo, the same exact photo, is the DNG, which is the raw photo. So you'll be able to see exactly uh, what the smart photo is doing to the image, how it's um, fixing it, if you want to say, or correcting it, or enhancing it. Any of those words uh, fit the bill here, you know, but you'll see them kind of like side by side. Actually, I don't like the small pictures, so you'll see one after the other. And in this, um, all the all the um, smart photos are first, and DNG photos are second. And I have the uh, what do you call it? Uh, you know that uh, effect, uh, the Ken Burns effect going on, where you're kind of zooming in and zooming out of them. And also, I include some unedited HDR video that I took from the same location I took the photos. So um, I hope this gives you a good idea of what. Uh, the HDR, I mean not the HDR, sorry, the smart photo feature is doing for you um, and, and I kind of uh, a Freudian slip there saying HDR because in another in another camera it may say, you know, the button may say HDR but this one says smart photo because it's doing a lot more than just doing that kind of a fake looking HDR where they pump up the contrast and the saturation. This, this is doing a lot more than just there's two simple things that, you know, when you see the usual easy fix HDR button on a lot of, uh, you know, cameras and cell phones and, and, and things like that. But, uh, but yeah, but you're going to see exactly, you know, what the smartphone is doing for you versus the, uh, the DNG, which is kind of a raw uh, file, kind of a, you know, just, just the way it is, not doing any uh, in-camera processing. So, um, with no further ado, we will uh, roll the video here. So, I uh, hope you enjoy it. Okay, the first thing up here is uh, eight, uh, the HDR uh, video mode here. I'm uh, doing a manual orbit of these uh, the tall building here. And uh, again, we're just kind of orbiting around here. And then we're going to get into some of our photos here. The first one is the DNG, and the second one is our smart photo. You can see the difference with the uh, processing. And now back to the uh, HDR video as we come orbiting around we do a reveal shot of Atlantic City in the distance. So uh, from here on out it's going to be uh, kind of flip flop back and forth between a picture comparison of the DNG which is first and the uh, smart photo which comes second and you can see how the uh, smart photo kind of lights the uh, dark areas and controls the overexposure in the sky with the uh, with the setting sun. So um, Again, we're, you're going to see, you're going to flip back and forth between some HDR video and the uh, the photo test, uh, as we just mentioned. Again, the uh, DNG will always be first and the smart photo will always be second. And the HDR video is unedited. So uh, I hope you enjoy it and we'll see you in the next one. 